Welcome to this answer explanation video for divide three digits by one digit. This video will talk through the answers to the divide three digit by one digit worksheet and we'll go over some of the tricky bits. Question one. Susie has solved the calculation 926 divided by nine using a part whole model. She says, my answer has no remainder. Find and correct Susie's mistake. So, Straight away, we know she's made a mistake. That means that we need to solve the calculation ourselves to find where that mistake has happened. We can see that the part whole model has already started to be partitioned, but let's see if we can fill in the missing gap here first. If we have 900 divided by nine, that means that our tens and ones must be placed in this part here. So I can put 26 divided by nine in that space. Let's start with our hundreds because we always start with the highest value column. In this case, that's our hundreds. 900 divided by nine is 100. And then 26 divided by nine, I'm using my knowledge of the nine times table here because I know that three times nine is 27. So the highest one we can go up to is 18, which is two times nine. So that's two, but then I will have eight left over, my remainder will be eight. Can add the two parts together to get the answer to the whole. So 100 add two remainder eight is 102 remainder eight. And we can see there that Susie's mistake is that she should have a remainder and her error could have been that she believed that this would divide equally by nine with no remainder. Question two. Compare the two division models by adding less than, greater than, or equal to, to the box. So we have two different types of calculation here. The first is a part whole model. The second is on a place value grid. Let's have a look at the part whole model first. We already have some partitioning that's been done for us. We have 728 divided by six. We can see that it's been identified that 600 can easily be divided by six. So we've used our 600 there, we still have 100 that we need to exchange into the tens column. So instead of having 20 in this column, we're going to have 120 in this column. That leaves us with eight in the final space there. Now we've got those parts completed, we can look at finding the answers. So 600 divided by six is 100. 120 divided by six is 20. And then eight divided by six is one remainder two. We can then add the three parts together to get the whole, and that would be 121 remainder two. 736 divided by six. You can see on the screen there that you already have your place value grid. We can see that the hundreds have been shared equally between six and then 100 has been exchanged into the tens. And now our full number is 122 with a remainder of four. If we read across that top line, we have 100, two tens, two ones, and a remainder of four because they couldn't be shared equally on the place value grid. So now we have our two answers, 121 remainder two, 122 remainder four, and now we can complete the box so that we have the statement. 728 divided by six is less than 736 divided by six. Question three. Navdeep is comparing the following calculations. He writes the statement below. Calculation B is the odd one out because it has 26 in the answer. Do you agree with Navdeep? Navdeep, explain your answer. We have three calculations then, A, B and C, and I'm going to have a look at uh, solving these using part whole models. But again, if you use a different method, that's absolutely fine. We'll just check we've got the same answers. I've already written out the calculations, shown the partitioning. We'll start with calculation A. So 219 divided by nine. I know that I can divide 180 by nine. And my answer to that would be 20. That leaves the remaining digits to be exchanged into the ones column, which would give me 39. I know that 39 divided by nine can't be done exactly, but four times nine is 36. So I would have a remainder of three. I add the two parts together and I have 24 remainder three. 
Calculation B, 159 divided by 6. Again, I know that I can divide 120 by 6, and that would give me an answer of 20. I exchange the remaining numbers into the 1s column, so the remaining 10s into the 1s to give me 39. 39 divided by 6, using my knowledge of the 6 times tables, I know that 6 times 6 is 36. And again, I would have a remainder of 3. Add the two parts together, so that's 26, remainder 3. The final calculation, calculation C, 170 divided by 7. Using my knowledge of that 7 times table and applying it to other situations, I know that I can easily divide 140 by 7. That would give me 20. My remaining 10s have now been exchanged into this space here, and 30 divided by 7 can't be done exactly, but I do know that 4 times 7 is 28, so it can be divided by 7 to leave 4 with a remainder of 2 to take us up to 30. Add the two parts together, I have 24 remainder 2. So we have our three answers now. The answer to A was 24 remainder 3. The answer to B is 26 remainder 3. And the answer to for C is 24 remainder 2. Let's look at Navdeep's statement. He says that B is the odd one out because it has 26 in the answer. I would agree with Navdeep because it does have 26 in the answer and A and C both have 24 as their whole number. An alternative answer could be that C is the odd one out because it has a remainder of 2, whereas A and B have a remainder of 3. So either answer is fine as long as you've been fully able to explain your point. That was a video explaining the answers to the divide three digits by one digit worksheet from Classroom Secrets. For a video tutorial on the same step, please go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk and for more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching.